Hey guys, Chris here. Wanted to share with you one of the passages that God has been working in me again and again and again for the last number of months. It it actually started just a little bit before the whole pandemic hit and things kind of shut down, physical distancing, all those words we're used to now. Uh, and, and then it continued to grow and God would continue to remind me and draw me back to it in some pretty awesome ways. And, and so the, the, it comes in Isaiah and it's Isaiah chapter 43. And you can read it for yourself. I encourage you to do so. Uh, you might want to pause the video right now or wait till the end, but now would be awesome. Feel free to do that. We won't take it personally. Uh, and, and there's so much rich imagery in it. If you'll see, uh, if you know anything of the Bible in the Old Testament, you'll, you might be thinking of different stories and, and different things that have happened in the life and history of the nation of Israel. And, and it's God speaking and he's reminding his people of exactly what he has done. And then there's the similar imagery that's linked to God is or will and will do it again. And so my favorite is uh, Isaiah chapter 43, verses 19. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do not see it. I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. In others, it parts of, it talks about God making a way, right? Do you think about Israel wandering in the desert? God's reminding them hey, I already have drawn you through a wilderness. I have already provided you with streams of water when everything was dry and parched. I've done it before. I'll do it again. Just trust me. See, in fact, I'm already doing it right now. Isaiah 43 is just chock full of these incredible uh, blessings that are reminders of what God has done. And so as I look at that, it's amazing the history I have is following Jesus. That's my history too. And what is there in my, my very own life that God has done? Where has God shown up? Where was there a wasteland that he wet, led me through? Where was there something that seemed impassable, like, like a sea that God parted for me to walk through, that he made a way where I couldn't see it being possible? It's so important that we lock in those memories, that we put something in place that will remind us of exactly how God showed up and was working even before we saw it. And that gives us faith. That helps us trust in the moments when we're feeling weak. You know, I think another beautiful part from Isaiah 43 is how we can be this for other people that we have a responsibility actually to, to, to remind other people of how God has showed up, whether it's for yourself or you as a community or whether it's even reminding them of how God has shown up in their life because they're just not remembering it right then. Talk about spiritual friendship. I so value the people in my life who do that for me. Who say, Chris, God's got this. He's doing something. You just don't see it yet. Be on the lookout. Let me pray for us. Father, thank you. Thank you that you are always moving. You are working. Thank you that you are a God who makes a way in the wilderness. Thank you for that you are a God who has a plan for and prepares cool, clean, clear, refreshing water for us to drink when we don't know where we're going to get that life-giving source from. You are our source. You've done it before. You will do it again. We will trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, so good, guys. Make sure if you didn't already, read all of Isaiah 43. I'm sure that God has something for you in it. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.